What's good, YouTube? Multitasking with Apple products has come a long way over the years, and what was once a huge difference in the amount of multitasking that you can get done on an iPhone as opposed to an Android phone is a lot better today than what it once was. In this video, we'll be taking a look at several tips and tricks and several features of the iPhone that you may not know about that will really help with multitasking. Of course, some of these features have been available on Android for a few generations, but Apple does do some things right in terms of multitasking, and we'll get into them in this video. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching. So the first tip that we'll get into is switching between apps. Traditionally, you would have a multitasking button on an Android phone, but switching between apps, while isn't completely as seamless as I find it on Android devices, is quite easy on iOS. The easiest way to switch between apps is just to swipe left or right at the bottom of the screen. By doing this, you'll be switching between your most recently used apps. To go to your full-fledged app panel, what you want to do is swipe up from the bottom and hold, and then you'll be able to see your app cards. Here you can scroll through all your open apps and close apps as well. This isn't as slick as it is on Android or even Apple's iPad, but I do find that the app card and the gestures to access your app card has really evolved since Apple first introduced this on the iPhone X. The next tip or trick we'll be looking at is the ability to play audio and or video from your iPhone at the same time. While this is a lot easier on Android, what you might not know is that you can simultaneously play the audio of a video while scrolling the internet on your iPhone at the same time. This only works with Safari, so what you want to do is open up the video on a popular app like Vimeo or YouTube and then switch tabs. You'll notice that unlike Chrome or other browsers that the audio of the video still keeps going despite it not being on the screen. And even for a few video applications you can actually get picture in picture on the iPhone which is a feature that's been recently introduced. So to get picture in picture check out my link in the video below for a full tutorial on the gestures and the abilities of picture in picture on the iPhone. But if you swipe or if you press the picture in picture button on an active full screen video, you can actually have it play at a small section of the screen while you do other things and multitask on your iPhone. And that brings us to the final quick tip for multitasking on your iPhone and that is split screen. Split screen functionality has long been a feature available for Android phones and it's actually available on Apple's Pad OS. Somewhat baffling though, there's no native split screen functionality available for iOS or the iPhone and we have to resort to workarounds in order to get split screen working. There are third party apps that you can use to enable some form of split screen work on the iPhone. Check out my video in the link below for a direct tutorial with some apps that enable split screen on the iPhone. Overall, if you like to have multiple browsers or YouTube or other things like that open up on the iPhone, it is somewhat possible. And I find that it does take advantage of the very strong computing power and multitasking capabilities of the iPhone, which sadly isn't available through native applications. So there you have it everyone, just some quick tips on how to multitask on your iOS device. If you like this kind of content or have some workarounds or tips of your own, 